Hey, this is Rob Houston. We are here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center as they have unveiled a new special exhibit talking about the orphan trains. What are the orphan trains? We're here to tell you about it. It's one of four more reasons to visit Enid this week. All aboard, examining the orphan trains is the new special exhibit here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. Throughout the 19th century, immigration to eastern U.S. cities increased and the country's population was growing. The Industrial Revolution worsened the situation with few institutions in place to care for the poor or indigent. Between 1854 and 1929, over 200,000 children were transported to their new homes by train. Some of them went to loving foster families, others were just considered a source of free labor. The orphan trains changed the way the United States looked at child labor laws. In fact, there were none when the orphan train started and child labor laws were instituted following this trend. So very fascinating exhibit. The Heritage Center staff built this entire exhibit and there is a lot to learn here about a part of our history that we haven't really heard a whole lot about. It is all aboard examining the orphan trains. It runs through June 4th, and it is open during regular museum hours, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday. Examining the orphan trains at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. You could learn a little bit more about what really happened during the Vietnam War from someone who was actually there. Sunday afternoon at 2.30 at the M.L. Becker Learning Center at the Woodring Regional Airport, you'll get a chance to meet and visit with Bob Ford. Bob was a helicopter pilot who flew over a thousand missions in Vietnam, and he has written a book called Black Cat 2-1, in which he details a lot of these stories. I'm sure he'll have his book there for you to purchase, and he'll autograph it for you, but he'll also just sit and talk and tell a lot of his stories from that very terrible era, the Vietnam War era. It is on Sunday, 2.30 at the M.L. Becker Learning Center at Woodring Regional Airport. Your chance to meet Bob Ford, Vietnam pilot. Saturday here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, it's History Alive. It is where reenactment characters portray life as it was during the Cherokee outlet and the land run of 1893. Now they're doing something special on Saturday. It's a special make it, take it workshop where they're making cornbread from a heritage recipe. You'll shell the corn from the cob, grind it down to cornmeal, and prepare the ingredients in your own personal skillet for you to take home bake and serve. That starts right at 11 o'clock. There is a $20 fee to take part in the workshop. Other than that, if you're not going to do that and just come to see the exhibit called History Alive and all the reenactment characters that will be out in the village, that of course is just the regular museum admission price. So come on out Saturday, 11 to 3, History Alive here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. The regular season is winding down for the NOC Jets and Lady Jets basketball programs. Another chance to cheer on your Jets is coming up on Thursday at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. at the Maybe Center on the NOC Enid campus as the Jets and Lady Jets take on Seminole State. Women play at 5.30, men to follow at 7.30. Come and see NOC Enid, the Jets and Lady Jets take on conference foe Seminole on Thursday night. And that's four or more reasons to visit Enid this week. Again, we invite you to the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, not only for examining the orphan trains, but also for History Alive coming up on Saturday. And for more information on all the events coming to Enid, go to our website at visitenid.org.